leave everything on this journey to me. is performing largely as I expected. Having gone so long without proper use and maintenance, it's become very difficult to use. Though he's making every effort to persevere, I do not think he can last much longer. Hmm. Something else on your mind? How strange. Rather than trying to control me, he is instead trying to match my fighting rhythm. Let's keep going. that his strength is slowly fading away. The blade is becoming more and more difficult for me to wield. He cannot hold out much longer. If he keeps persisting, he will likely break apart at any moment. But what would that do to Amanome Yuya? I will be careful with it. He also says he does not have any plans to give up easily. He's still trying to achieve his goal. Yes. And it looks like he's reached his limit. The sheen's grown a bit dimmer again. It doesn't look anywhere near as impressive as it did at the start. Perhaps this time, we'll finally have a chance to see his true form. True form? 
What are you talking about? Uh, huh? What the? Is this the same blade as before? It looks like a piece of junk! If you choose to continue in the state you're in, you wouldn't even be able to beat Samurai and Kairagi, much less the Almighty Shogun. Maybe you did truly wield power to rival the Shogun's light when first forged. But the long journey from Snezhnaya back to Inazuma has left you battered and broken. It barely needs stating anymore. Your ambition is a flight of fancy. I finally figured out why it was that you agreed to my bet. You wanted to reach a state of harmony with me. For perhaps then you would still be able to wield commendable power. But regrettably, we are nothing alike. I will never understand your obstinacy and cruelty, nor can I empathize with the one who made you. The only one who truly understood you had already passed away by the time you were born. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? There they are! Take them down! Don't worry. I'll use my own blade. It's just more of the same. Let me try my blade. One with nature! Into the wind! Fallen leaves. Adorn my night! You fought way better with your own sword. You are a true Kaidehara in flesh and in spirit. Though we fought briefly together, you have seen me for who I really am. No one knew anything of my story throughout my travels, nor did I tell it to anyone. You are the first person to know the truth. I thought that if I could achieve Ishin harmony with you, perhaps there would still be a ray of hope for me. But in this too, you have failed. Indeed. No matter how hard I tried, I could not attain that perfect harmony that your personal blade does with you. Too much time has passed. My physical state is poor and without proper maintenance. I can only disguise my true appearance behind an outer sheen. Yours is the blade that took on the Muso no Hitotachi. And what a magnificent blade it is. Perhaps I shall never reach that level of glory. Actually, this is just a generic blade that I picked up during my travels in Liyue. What? Forging and maintenance are both important for a blade, but they are not everything. This blade has traveled the land with me for many years, and we have formed a close bond during that time. Plus, in the moment that I most needed it, I received aid from another power, skill, blade, determination, and desire. All these must be aligned in the practice of Ishin art. <sighs> There is something else I must tell you. Though your maker may not have been aware, your ability to possess your own consciousness derived from the power of the Tatarigami. Tatarigami is a malevolence from the ancient past. It is the source of your mania and savagery. Though you tried to cooperate with me while I was wielding you, the part of you driven by Tatarigami was constantly trying to seize control of my body. <sighs> I sensed it, but I couldn't change it. It is an integral part of my consciousness. I resisted its temptations because I wanted to save Amenoma Yuya. But I do not know whether you yourself have any intention of trying to fight it. I feel a great sense of regret for you. Since you embarked on a journey bound for a destination you were destined never to reach. The moment you embarked on this journey, you lost the only person who could have ever unleashed your true potential. And yet there was no way for you to turn your back on his ambition. You have known this for a long time. It is the true source of your despair. He gave me everything. My life, my form, my consciousness, 
and purpose. How could I possibly deny him his wish? I said to him, do not worry. From here on, I shall forge your legacy. How could I go back on my word? Aww. I believe our bet is now settled. I have nothing further to say. Where are you going, Kazuha? He now has neither the ability nor the motivation to cause further harm. Let's give him some time to reflect on things. When I touched the hilt for the first time, it's as if I was transported to a strange dimension. It was somewhere I've never been. A bladesmith lay quietly on the bed, his frail face barely visible under the moonlight. His breaths were weak, and his life near its end. A newly forged blade lay by his side, listening attentively to his final words. Wow. That was the Blade's memory, wasn't it? Indeed. While in exile in Snezhnaya, the bladesmith eventually learned the truth behind everything that had happened. The Ishin art had been dealt a devastating blow by the desertion of its best smiths. He spent the rest of his life in the forge, not to vent his frustration and hatred, but to atone for his actions. He felt intense regret at being tricked by the Fatui, but he could never again return to his homeland. His sole wish was to one day return his single proudest creation back to the land of his birth. So he instructed this sentient blade to find a way back to Inazuma, no matter how long or how hard the journey. But he never wished to rival the gods. All he wanted to show was that they once shone brilliantly as Blade and Smith. That they were still worthy of being trusted. So that's the true story. But after that, the blacksmith's intentions were warped by the Tatari Gami, slowly turning his proud creation into the cursed Blade of today. Right. I believe the bladesmith might never have known that the power he worked with was that of the Tatarigami. The hatred within that power is what sent the blade down its ill-fated path. This blade has committed unforgivable atrocities, but only because it lost its original master. No one was there to correct its errors when it was losing its way. <sighs> Shame it's too late now. Yes. It is too late. Time would not wait or stop because of his determination. While the world moved on, his ambition remained stubbornly stuck at that fleeting moment at the dawn of his journey. He seems to have calmed down, though. Let's go and check in. <sighs> when I look back at the past, I can remember the day of my forging like it was just yesterday. I once told him that I would pay any price to fulfill his wishes. Such was the debt I owed to him for giving me the gift of consciousness. But darkness and slaughter numb the mind. Over time, I lost sight of the difference between gratitude and grudge. Not only did I fail to fulfill his ambition, I also defiled it. You are finally seeing reality clearly. Since we agreed to the terms of the bet, I will honor the agreement and release Amenoma Yuya. But I still cannot bring myself to forsake his ambition. It is the entire purpose for my existence. So, may I ask you to help me fulfill the ambitions of myself and my creator? It has to be done in this order, at least hear what I have to say. 
And if you don't agree, I will still release Ame no Mayuya as promised. My physical form, as well as the knowledge I possess, should still be of some value to you. His attitude has grown a lot milder. What do you think, Kazuha? Should we give him a chance? Let's hear it. Thank you all. When I was first forged, my maker was already terminally ill. He told me that he had wanted me to have the grandest opening battle. Alas, after that, he never rose from his sickbed again. Nor have I ever had the chance to prove myself in battle sense. My fights were devoid of any noble meaning. They were merely the next step in my never-ending journey. The next in a long line of transgressions. You are a fine warrior. I would like to request your hand in battle and experience a true duel between samurai. Oh? And who would be the opponent? I will release Ame no Mayuya and restore his consciousness. Perhaps after that, you can convince him to commit to a fight with you. He must have plenty of reasons to both hate me and desire a good fight. Understood. Then let's start by waking him up and seeing if he has the stamina and will to fight. I see. He used my body to inflict harm on others. I utterly despise him and his actions. But since he stayed true to your agreement by releasing me, he must still have some remaining semblance of honor. If a duel can help to set this state of affairs in order, I am willing to put myself forward. I do not wish to be a mere victim in this story. There's no need to worry. We'll vouch for your innocence to the Tenryo Commission. Thanks for your help. Who knows how this would have ended without your intervention. All right, then let's move on. More Ronin could appear at any moment. We can't stay here. In any case, for a final duel, I think we should aim for a greater sense of ceremony. This reminds Paimon a bit of the Crux Clash! Yep, we still can't let our guard down. Even now, Paimon has a sneaking suspicion that Blade hasn't told us everything. Still, even if he's way past the point of redemption, it's hard not to feel a teensy bit sorry for him. Are you ready? Ready? Okay. All right, then. Successor of Ishin Art, Kaidahara Kazuha. Successor of Amenoma Art, Amenome Yuya. Honored to cross blades with you. It is my honor also.
Thank you for the experience. Although he appears battered and broken, in your hands it seems he's regained a glimmer of brilliance. His sense of savage cruelty has completely faded away. But that same sense of determination remains strong. You also fought well. I'm sure he relished the experience. There are a few things that I shall leave him to tell you himself. I must apologize to you for all that has transpired. You need not seek my forgiveness, nor do I have the right to forgive you on your victim's behalf. It is too late for all of that. I do not wish for forgiveness. I only hope that you will see my transgressions as mine alone and not let them stain the legacy of Ishin art. I strayed far from the straight and narrow path, but the Ishin art still has a worthy successor in Kaede Hara Kazuha. I beseech you, please understand this. Yes, I too trust Mr. Kaede Hara to do the right thing. Thank you, successor of Amenoma art. This blade has also told me that he has another wish. He would like to visit the Amenoma Smithy. Maybe we can go back there together. What does he want to go there for? I am not sure, but I think that all this is about to come to an end. It's Yuya! You have returned! I am sorry to have troubled you. It's all thanks to them that I was able to return safely. A prized Ishin blade. Turned weapon that controls the human mind. <sighs> Considering their forging philosophy, this was indeed within the realm of possibility. This is a great pity. But I have some good news as well. Ryuji, from the Bantan Sango Detective Agency, tells me that they've found the missing Mr. Nagato. Really? Is he okay? Yes. Badly wounded, but he will live. And now that Yuya is back, it seems like the final ending to this story is a happy one after all. I think I know what you want to do. What's wrong, Kazuha? Is the blade whispering in your ear again? Yes. He said he wants to take control of me for a brief moment. What? No way! Hasn't it learned its lesson? He tells me that he's thought of another way to fulfill his maker's wish. And he assures me that he won't use my body for anything nefarious. I have decided to let him do it. Change your mind, huh? Thank you. I will explain my reasons later. Okay. I am ready. Let us begin. Please, stay true to your promise. <sighs> my power is almost spent. Without him, my eventual demise is inevitable. But if I abandon the future to give everything I have in this moment, my physical form can be forged anew. Everything? You mean... Yes. The cost is my entire consciousness. <laughs> Right. 
There's nothing that I can accomplish now. But there's still a chance for Ishian art. Once remade, I will be a valuable resource for your studies. Ishian lives on, and its finest hour is yet to come. Even if I am not the one to prove its might to the Shogun, as long as it is an Ishin blade, crafted by Kaedehara hands, it will still fulfill his final wish. Thank you, son of the Kaedehara clan. Over the years, my real name has been forgotten by all. I'm ashamed to utter it. Yet it remains strong in my mind. Kagotsurube Ishin. This name is now yours to keep. Hm. Rest in peace. It had to be done in that order. His consciousness will disappear forever after fulfilling the bladesmith's wish. Kagotsurube Ishin. It was the first time I ever heard his name. It seems like deep down he disapproved of his own actions, and thus chose to bury this name deep within his heart. Only in the final moments. Before his consciousness faded, was he willing to entrust it to another? Seems like he really, really wanted to fulfill his maker's wish. The same fervent ambition that gave him the motivation to keep going forward also fueled the stubborn determination that blinded him to the path ahead. Speaking for myself, I'd rather see him recognize and atone for his mistakes than see him punished for them. I understand. Perhaps this is a flaw in my personality. I've always been captivated by grand aspirations. Hearing his wish to rival the divine light touched something inside of me, just as the sight of those who fought to repeal the Vision Hunt decree did. Your quest to face the gods and trace your sibling inspires me in the same way. After everything I've seen. Perhaps these pursuits fascinate me a little more than they should. Oh, Kazuha! I will continue to support you from this point on. Know that you will have my assistance whenever you need it. Wait, shouldn't we also go update Kujo Kamaji? Oh, you're right. We need to tell him about the findings of our investigation. And it's also time to give him a response to the offer he made me. You've returned. I hear that the issue has been resolved. Uh, though this was a treacherous investigation indeed, we're most fortunate that no lives were lost. The Tenryo Commission has already attended to the danger at the warehouse. The investigation into Amanoma Yuya should conclude soon. I do not believe he will be charged with any crime. Wow, you sure kept your ear to the ground. Then we needn't recount all the details again. Now, as to your earlier offer, I wish to give you my answer. Please, take a look at this blade. What's this? Kagotsurube Ishin. A weapon crafted using a long-lost blade forging art of the Kaidahara clan. By means of a series of fortuitous events, I was able to recover and restore him. I also promised him that I will continue to study and pass on the secrets of Ishin art. And so, it looks like I will likely continue with my journey across the nations, learning more about this blade as I go. Uh, I see. I understand. The Kaidahara clan has always been a family of bladesmiths. 
so it is only proper for me to continue on this path. Were I to accept your goodwill, I may find myself embroiled in conflicts between the Shogunate and Sangonomiya. That would not suit me. Ah, uh, you misunderstand. That was most certainly not our intent. I am aware, but I still desire to continue walking my own path. Very well, I can understand. Then let's pretend this offer was never raised. However, if you should ever change your mind or find yourself in need of the Shogunate's assistance, please do not hesitate to inform me. Great. Thank you for your generosity. Where will you travel to next, Kazuha? Hmm. I'll probably take to the seas with Captain Beto again for now. As for my next destination, let's see where the wind takes me. <laughs>